you, you get to a point where you're like, you're not in that tight, fresh orb of loss, right? And you are ready to start exploring connections and reconnections. But there is still this like this dissonance, right? This like, I want to start having more people in my life, but I'm not the person that I was before. I'm not, I'm not the friend they knew before, but they don't necessarily know that. Right. And I like the, um, the extra layer here of, I am still unhappy with them for some of the things that they did. And I can't pretend that that is not still in my heart. Right. I also love that you said, I like, I don't have the, the bandwidth to do a process conversation. And we've said this many times, like not everybody is worth a process conversation. Not everybody is worth it. Right. And you get to decide that for yourself. So one, all of this stuff is normal and you are absolutely not the only one. Some people choose to work on finding friends for the self they are now. Right. Because you aren't that person. It's like, you know, when you go to like a high school reunion or something and you're like, we used to be friends 25 years ago, but I, we are not the same people anymore. And you can't walk back into a friendship as a completely different person with completely different experiences. So for a lot of people, they find that as this brand new person in the world, they need to make brand new relationships, which is exhausting, which is exhausting. And sometimes that, that is just the way of it, right? Naming for yourself the person that I was no longer fits in this friend group. Like the opening of Don Quixote is don't let anybody know you because they won't let you change, right? If those friends cannot recognize that you are not the same person walking around in the, the outer visage of somebody they recognize, then it's really hard to have an authentic connection there the people with whom you can have that conversation of I'm not the same person that I was, and I'm not entirely sure who I am now, but I can't relate to people the same way that I used to. Maybe there are some people in your life and go like, I do not get it, but I absolutely get it. And I am here for all of the iterations of who you are, right? Those are really rad relationships, right? the people who will let you change. Those are really cool people. I don't know if any of that is in your friend group, if any of those folks are um, worthy even of that statement, right? Not just the process conversation of, can we deconstruct what happened in our past? But that vulnerability and that sharing of I don't know who I'm becoming, but I know that I am not the person that I used to be. And I'm not sure how to pick up friendships with people who knew the me I used to be. Right. I think that's a really interesting way to phrase that sometimes. I think we can also get, get it in our minds that like we have to solve all of the relational problems all in one fell swoop. Like we have to talk about that. I am a different person, that I'm not sure how to get into this, that I cannot tolerate all of the things that are happening in your life. And by the way, you really screwed up a year ago. Like that is a big stack of interpersonal relational issues that don't all need to be solved at the same time. And different people in that group might be people who you, with whom you can address some of those things, but not all of those things. Right? I wish it wasn't so difficult. I wish it wasn't so complicated. I wish that everybody got a pass on the human bullshit for at least like, I don't know, like five years, right? But unfortunately we don't and we need each other to survive and also humans are a pain in the ass. So where can we find a place to connect with part of our needs, right? It's so challenging. 
it's so challenging. And I think, you know, this is a little bit of our theme here today is recognizing for yourself what this feels like and asking yourself, what do I need? I, I want to be connected and I notice that X, Y, and Z is happening. What do I need for myself when I notice that happening? Do I need to leave? Do I need to say something? Do I need to have a secret code with one of those friends that we can talk about something else, right? What do I need when I notice that I'm feeling this way? And I know that many people, many people are unsure how to navigate these friendships after a loss. Yeah, I think also, I just went back and looked at a little bit of what you said is like, I want these people in my life, right? So that's a good question for yourself too. It's like, I want these people in my life for these reasons, because of this, here are the things that I long for with them. I don't know what that might be, but there might be familiarity. There might be shared history. There might be, they're really hilarious, right? And these are the things that get in the way of my feeling connected with them, right? Some of these things are surmountable. Some of these things are not surmountable. What do I need to do here? Right. I want these people in my life for these reasons. This is what I want from this. What are the conditions that I have power over that might help me get what I want here? Yeah. Yeah. I wish it was easier. <laughs>